How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. <laughs> the channel. Okay. It's Wednesday. How's it going? It's Wednesday, March 13th. Mmm. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah. Doctor's appointment yesterday. Today is double dentist. Because <laughs> I have to bring my mom. She's just scheduled. Dentist appointment today. And I got Toastmasters. And I have to do a speech. And. Mm, I'm going to do a, a speech on the um, this obscure fossil tree plant. Called uh, Dansforia Claudius uh, Dansforia or something like that. Scientific names. And it's a very strange Dr. Seuss kind of looking tree. And it was described as looking like an upside down toilet brush. But the reason it's so interesting, this little tree is because there's a gigantic gap in the geological record called the Romer's Gap. And it's 15 million years of nothing. <laughs> there's, almost... oh, there's 15 million years of almost no fossil record whatsoever. And in some places it's just a, there's this and then there's that. And then there's like this and it's 15 million years Missing. <laughs> it's really strange. I don't know. Maybe the Earth got abducted by a UFO and it's missing time. I'm gonna do a speech on that. And there's just a couple of trace fossil maybe stuff of, of that age in the Romer's Gap. But there's this one tree as an example of something that lived in the Romer's Gap. The Dr. Seuss tree <laughs> for 15 million years void. That's nice beach. I'm grasping at straws, but it is interesting. <clears throat> now, um, my little vlog, yeah, I just said, I, I wasn't even going to do this. I'm like, I'm not going to do this. I got a special um, day coming up, and I don't know exactly what day it is, but it's really soon, like within a few days or something. And um, it's bad to tell you, it's like, I've been doing this for four years, so thanks for viewing, if you're watching. I'll probably be posting this later because it'll be after Double Dentist and Dr. Seuss Beast. Eh, okay, so that's the vlog. Here's the news. There's a giant flock of parrots flying overhead. <laughs> there's this it's wild... Sex. There's a wild flock of parrots and it's coming by. I can hear it. It's so strange. Anyways. Well, um, I wanted to say that our UH Gobos, our UH Volleyball team, has been ranked number one. It's actually a couple days ago they were ranked number one because they beat the number one guys of Grand Canyon or something. Another void. But they beat, and they got to be number one, but the star guy, the star player, uh, Spiros, Spiros, it's called Hak. It has a C, but it's silent, so it's Hakra, not Chakra. Hakra. So he's out. He's out for the count. He's out for the season for sure with the knee injury. So the big, powerful player is injured and out for the count. So they're all worried about it. So that's that's. Oh, and don't forget, we have reached critical mass. <laughs> It's, hmm, is it, you don't be surprised, but here it is. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Biden and Trump have each perspective, uh, respectively, uh, perspectively, respectively, won their primary races. So basically the primaries are pretty much over, and it's going to be Trump and Biden in the general election. <laughs> Help! But that's not a surprise, really. That's not. The, what they're going to do now is try to get all those undecided voters. So there's. It, the campaigning's not over. It's going to be slam bam, slam bam. But it's going to be Trump and Biden slam bam at each other with that 
gigantic negative. Okay, mostly from the Trump side, they use that negative campaign a ton. What is that? But Biden's going like, hey, this guy's all out for himself. What are you talking about? You know, so that's some, he'll plant some stuff and it's true and it sticks. <sighs> okay, now we got to go to the paper chat and I, I just remembered I didn't bring it up. See, that's what happens. So I go press this button here. Then I press this button here. Then I go back here. Then I have to make sure the thing is off. And there we go. <laughs> so we got what this next. The paper. Ooh. Ooh. Trump and Biden clinch party's nominations. Um, what is this, this lady? It's pride. Yeah, I passed by a couple of these Republican um, caucus stuff. She's like writing it in. Trump, 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 Trump. I don't know why I just bought a couple for him. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't understand, but whatever. And, uh, and, um, Chakra's career is over. Uh. It's terrible. I had a friend in college. The guy's name was Bo. Very, very tall guy. And he was on the college basketball team. And he knew all the other basketball Are you scared? All my friends were basketball players for us all of a sudden. But I went to watch their games in person when they played. And one time, he was thinking career. And one time, something happened. And they even had my video camera. They didn't catch it. But he fell and injured his knee. And I was like, well, you just hurt your knee. I didn't know why he was so distraught. But it meant that his future plans for basketball, because it's a knee injury. Knee injury is serious, eh? Oh, okay, so much serious. Ah! Okay, don't make this too long, okay? I can't, actually, I can't make it too long. Time to go. Oh, okay, back in the day. Ooh, what's that? It's a peach eye. When you want to relax, just go look into the mirror. And it's like, oh, look, I'm the king and queen. <laughs> 1976, members of the Honolulu Academy of Arts and guests view the portrait of Hawaiian High Chief Boki and his wife, Liliha. It was painted by John the in 1824 and has been lost for 100, 150 years. What did they find in someone's basement? The artwork is located recently in Scotland, purchased by John Dominus Holt and his wife, then donated to Kamehameha Schools. It was in Scotland for 150 years. Look at this, look at this, look at the guy's crown. It's like a freaking, I don't know, fish hook, what happened? What is that? I don't know. Family's ghost comes to the memoirs. Oh, book review, ghost. Oh, uh, uh, special counsel. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, this guy, this, they ripped this guy a new one because he was just trying to make, I'm um, just a fact, just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. And, but you said Biden and you said Trump. And the guy was just roasted. I think he was just trying to be non-political and they just dragging him into the politics of it. I was like, just trying to tell you the facts. That guy took the documents, that guy gave them back. Gaza Strip, oh, it gets worse over here. And, oh, come on. Isn't there one more team? What is this? I don't know what that is. Okay, run, hide. <laughs> come back. You are funny. You are funny. Thank you. Um. Do we have a political cartoon? I don't know. Oh, it's Wednesday. It doesn't have the political cartoon. It's how weirded out. Oh, bye, Chakra. Shaka? Shaka? Hakas. Okay, maybe a little finger in the pulse here. Oh, what are we going to do? Hey, we don't have time for these. Boom. Do something. What's a short one? Oh, ramp it up, ramp it up. Kudos, kudos, kudos Texas. Oh, 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 snap. <laughs> okay. Snap. Democratic hold. Oh, just in response to recent letters to the editor criticizing Democrats Same old damn dance and Skyline Translated <laughs> for article February 27 I assume the author is a Republican or unaffiliated The answer is not having Democrats in office is simple Find other viable candidates Not all of us can just follow the party line We can all do and vote intelligently At least I do Thank you Gwen for voting intelligently That's what we gotta do here. I mean, that's what you gotta do. <laughs> that's what you say. Vote intelligently. It's a it's a free um you know, free vote. I mean a secret vote too. I don't know. Everyone's like, eh, this and that. You can not tell anyone. Vote intelligently and don't tell anyone after. Just go, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I but, told her. Uh they complain about Biden, they complain about Trump and stuff like that. 
but the guy, uh, you know, she, she, what are you sure her, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, she won't bleed. Gwen. Gwen made a, a perfectly good point. What about other candidates? I mean, we can't pretend, oh, vote a third party. Like, who votes for a third party and thinks their vote's actually going to count? The third party is like, you're just taking votes away from whatever, choice A and choice B. It seems to be always like that. It's bipartisan in the thing. And uh, they want a better candidate. Just get better people to run. That's what I don't understand about the GOP. Well, I do sort of understand. They think Trump's going to win. So that's why they're going all in. He's going to win over the Democrats, so they're all in. They're just about winning. That's it. And and uh, the Democratic candidate, if they want someone else, put someone else up there. Oh, why isn't that JFK or John uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. guy, why doesn't he run as a Democrat or something? Maybe someone will vote for him. Maybe not. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Ooh, gotta run, eh? Uh, what a button do I push? I push a button over here. Okay. Um, um, I press out, and then I press this one, and then I press this. Okay. Aloha. Aloha now. Okay, bye now. Oh, uh, this wasn't... Oh, gosh. This is way too... Oh, there we go. Dr. Seuss Tree. Okay. Aloha to you.